Hey, this is Munir here from Gutenberg Hub. In this video, we will learn everything you need to know about reusable blocks in WordPress Gutenberg Editor. Reusable blocks concept is one of the greatest features of Gutenberg Editor. It allows you to save a block or a group of blocks uh, uh, to be that you can use later uh, on your website on any page or post. So suppose if uh, if you like to add a call to action uh, on at the bottom of every uh, post or sometimes or not on every post wherever you want to add it in any of the pages you create later so you can save this to as a reusable blog and then it will be available from the reusable tabs in the blog inserter window so that you can insert that reusable content anywhere on your website anytime on any page uh, that you want to add creating a use reusable block is really simple for example this is uh, my content that i would like to save as a reusable block so that i would be able to insert it anywhere in future so this is a group block which contains a paragraph block so what i will do i'll select the main group block and then go to this three dots menu option and click on this add to reusable blocks option it will sh give me uh, this uh, option to assign a name uh, for this reusable block so make sure this is more easily recognizable for you to in the future so i'll simply call it uh, my re usable block one for for this demo and hit the save button so now this has been saved as a reusable block uh, all the reusable blocks uh, when you click on them will show you this uh, hint or the name option and the edit option on the top so and you can also recognize them uh, by the sidebar which clearly mentioned that it's a reusable block uh, that you have saved so if you are not focusing on the block you will not recognize that which one is a reusable block from this content but when you focus on the block you you'll see this uh, that will that will give you an idea that this is a reusable block now let's see how we can add this reusable block to another page or post on this website so i've created a new uh, test post here so let's say i want to add the that reusable block here uh, below this paragraph so i'll hit enter now i have two ways to insert my reusable block here so one is by going to the add block inserter and go to reusable blocks tab it will give me all my saved reusable blocks here as you can see when i mouse over on each one it shows me the preview so the one I'm looking for is this my reusable block one and which has this content so you can easily see uh, this is that one my reusable block one so I'll click on this and it will just hit insert this in on this page of post I'll just save it and that's it it has the same content on both uh, the pages now another way is uh, is by using the slash command so if I click hit enter and search for my uh, reusable blog by uh, by typing the title uh, so let's see if that it finds out so you need to uh, type a forward slash and then type my oh, okay so it gives me uh, the reusable blocks here so my reusable block one is the one I'm looking for so I'll just hit enter and it will insert that block so this way you can uh, easily insert uh, your reusable content on any page or post in Gutenberg. Now let's see how to edit the content of the reusable block. So let me make it clear for you that if you edit a reusable block from any of the page and update the update its content, it will be updated on all the pages you have. For example, um, here I have this on this page and on this post so let's see if I edit 
it from here you need to click on edit button and I'll simply update the content for example uh, my reusable content dash updated and I'll hit save and I'll go to uh, the that post and refresh it and you see this the content is updated here on this post as well so the the best part of the reusable content is obviously if you update it uh, its content from any of the page you are using it the content will get updated everywhere you have this reusable block inserted now let's see how you can remove a reusable block from from the reusable blocks uh, list altogether so to remove a reusable block you can simply click on this three dots menu option on a reusable block and you get few up few additional options couple of options for the reusable block function convert to you can either convert it to a regular block i'll cover this a little a while in a while so this is what you need to click on remove from reusable blocks if you click on this it will give you a warning are you sure you want to delete this reusable block it will be permanently removed from all posts and pages so remember we have this on another post as well so we'll see what happens to this here uh, I, I'll just uh, save this once again so now I'll click on this again and click OK and then it says block deleted so now if I go to the reusable section and that uh, that block which was my reusable block one is now removed from here now if I go to this and I refresh this page so you can see there's only one reusable block here so if I refresh this page so here's what's happening to the post that had this reusable blog it says the blog has been deleted or is unavailable so this is showing me uh, this warning on the edit page so now let's see what it gives me on on the front end either it's giving me an error or not so so it's fine there uh, it's not showing me any error on the front end front end or a broken uh, paragraph or content so it's uh, it's here lorem which is this one it it was there here so this is nothing here so it's safe to delete it uh, from one page and forget uh, the issue that you have uh, on you have it added on different pages but when you will go and edit those pages you will see this uh, uh, broken or unavailable uh, message you get, you'll have to either remove it from here or add and the reusable block here now there is one more uh, interesting uh, feature with uh, the reusable block is that you can convert it to a regular block for example uh, let's say I have this uh, reusable block here on this uh, post and if I want to uh, if I want to convert it to regular block so that uh, when I delete or update this reusable block from another post for example I'll add it here as well so these both have the same reusable block so now as I showed you earlier if I update it from one page or post it will get updated to everywhere uh, this same reusable block uh, is inserted so if you want to make uh, convert this to this content to regular content or regular blocks so you, you need to go to the three dots menu option and click on convert to regular block option now this is unlinked or detached from the reusable block functionality this is no more a reusable block as you can see it's a simple a group with the content a paragraph and another paragraph in it so this is no more a reusable block now if I I'll save this now if I edit this and for example let's say I remove or update this content removed and save it so it will not affect this content here as this is not linked to that reusable block anymore this is not a reusable block so 
as you can see this is not uh, being affected with the changes I made to this reusable block so if you need to convert uh, some content to a regular content from reusable so you can easily do that by by converting it to a regular block now you may be wondering where all where you can find all those reusable block and uh, where they live in your WordPress installation so uh, if you go to the reusable block section it uh, gives you it, it already shows you whatever blocks you have uh, saved as reusable blocks so but you can go to this uh, link which says manage all reusable blocks and it will redirect you to this window which says blocks and it is uh, the list of all the reusable blocks you have saved uh, lately to your WordPress installation uh, you can you can easily uh, you must be familiar with this interface basically it's the same interface which you which you have been uh, using for pages or post or any post type in in a in the WordPress and this is this is technically also a custom post type uh, to work with the reusable block so you can there are, there are a few things you can do this with with this screen you can either edit this edit a reusable block directly from here rather than editing it on a page or post that uh, where you have inserted it you can also edit it from here and it will all the changes will get applied to um, everywhere this this specific reusable content or blog is, is in use so you can edit it from here you can trash it from here and it will be removed from all the pages uh, you are using it and you can also bulk uh, apply uh, changes like move to trash or edit from uh, the bulk options in the WordPress and and the important part is you can import and export reusable blocks from this screen so if you want to import a, a blog uh, from another website you can do this by clicking on this exit for example let me show you uh, let's first export this you can individually export reusable blocks by mouse over clicking on the mouse over and click on the export as JSON and it will download the the dot JSON file of this specific reusable block so the same file you can go to another website and click on the import JSON and choose the same file and import it so it will import this uh, the reusable block in on in this website for you so from this manage uh, reusable blocks screen you can edit trash or import and export reusable blocks uh, on this website so that's it for the reusable blocks functionality I hope I have covered everything uh, that you need to know about reusable blocks in WordPress and and I'm sure you you have learned some uh, some good stuff about the reusable blocks so if you have any questions regarding this or anything related to Gutenberg you can ask in in the comment section and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to to watch more useful Gutenberg tutorials and videos. Thank you.